Hey y'all and welcome to this week's What's the Tea with Sissy and Blondie. So Miss Blondie, what's your tea this week? So this week's my first impressions on the water drag makeup brush set. Because she's cute. Oh yes. So she comes in this cute little case with personalised water drag on. And then when you open it up, you get the collection. We have played with them, so no, they're not still in the wrapping. But <laughs> they come in this cute little pink colour. Because we couldn't wait. I'm going to give you some. So you know. And now I'm going to tell you the names. So we have Slay. And Fias. And Hunty. And Stunning. And Stun. Call him Stephen. And Mama. And Sickening. And Work. And Gag Worthy. Like my look. Oh. So, what are your impressions then? I like them. I mean, I've only used a couple of them because obviously you, you know yourself. I don't really yeah. use that many brushes when it comes to my eyes. But that's soft, like. Yeah, personally, I live for them. The pick up the really, pigment really, nice. really easy as well. Cute collab, obviously. Yeah. Wouldn't expect yeah. anything less from Model Draco. Cute little Because we knew they liked the pink. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. There's Hunty. You can't really tell, but there. And then they come with these cute little pink bristles with the white tips. Oh, or orange, because I stained this one. Yeah. Oopsie. Which we did a bit. It's the little baby water drag that I like. Yeah. It's too small, so you wouldn't be able to pick it up. Yeah. Personally, I, I love them. If you haven't got a set, I recommend you go out and buy a set. Me too, because definitely I love your brushes. Perfect for the price point as well, because they don't cost too much. I don't even know what you were. They come in with a stunning case, so turn the camera. No. Oh my, you might as well just grab yourself, you know, some cheeky water drag lashes too. Seven okay. temp top today. They're really cute. Although well, I don't wear lashes, so. But they are really cute. And they're now doing wigs with Oh My Gag. <gasps> Can you imagine what a pair of water drag nails would look like? Oh, watch this space. You never know. Honey. Hopefully. You never Fingers know. crossed. You're looking for ideas, water drag. And then Pick we also been nail. trying the Makeup Revolution Chilled Palette. Which. Oh, look at the colours in there, if you like greens and earthy tones. That's bad, man. The only problem with the glitters is they look stunning in the pan, and to be honest, they're not that great. Yeah, they're not that big. The mattes are, though, the mattes are perfect. Aye, like the mattes and that's, but no, the, the glitters are. This one's called Plant. They're not my favourite. And I'm going to swatch that on there. And I'm going to do Sativa, because let's be honest, we all know what Sativa did to me in Amsterdam. <laughs> Ooh, she's stunning. Like a black. Yeah, it's green living. So you actually you've got a nice collection because you get a couple of glitters, you get some mattes, you get some shimmers. Like that calm, that will be a cute highlight. I just used that one actually on here. Yeah. Uh, mm. Mm. She cute. I'm going to do exhale as well because she's cute. I used a mix of plant, leaf and natural. I used Candyland, calm, natural and plant. And there is a silver in here called Hybrid, but I didn't use that. I used the Sugar Pale Silver Lake, which is here. She's and next level, she is. Stunning. And that one is Exhale. We can't. Can't really see it very well. Can't really see it that greatly. <laughs> yeah, it's a cute little palette overall. Price point again, very well. I'm sure it was only like nine, ten pounds. To be fair, though, I can't. Uh, I can't even living. like. I couldn't even slot Revolution if I want to do because. Yeah, everything Revolution do are really good. <laughs> kind of go around yes. with Revolution. I've used the eyeliner, the small one. Hmm. Although not the pen one that I usually use. And the uh, concealer. Just the one key. Oh, I. Threading. And part of the foundation. No, I didn't. I know that's not. Oh, I was wrong. She just one, just one she foundation shade. Wrong. Really. Oh, I'm feeling this face today. I'll go be honest, I'm going for mine. Mm. This eye more than this. Cause well. Why? Why? Look at that wing. Compared to the other one. Oh. Bitch, everyone knows why. I barely I'm even added a wing. But I'm still living. So usually I've, I've got to take a figure with my eyes being hooded. 
Yeah. Another one like a while for one so many. Obviously, can't cover up that cell wall in the fridge. Because it's about a good stunning. five minutes of the end, that's just down there anyway. Yeah, it's stunning. Which is cute. And the more you use, the bigger she gets. Yes, definitely. Can you imagine what a big bath is that? So. I cut my crease in that. It'd be full of glitter for days. Just feeling yourself. Fluttering them lashes to the camera for them. It's all she'd be doing in the mirror, anyways, girls. Yes, boys. God. If it's any boys watching, probably not. Anyway, since we've done my random babble about them, let's play the random five. Even though it ends up more than I five. I switched it up today, though. I was going to say, we're doing something we'll never do. Oh. Hmm. So these are what? The top 100 random questions to get a conversation going. Yeah. What's the scariest dream you've ever had? Going to the dentist and getting all my teeth pulled out. And then when I wake up, there's razor blades in my mouth. So I'm trying to shout for help. I eat my own face. Mine's got to be that reoccurring one I used to have in like my house in Hexham House where I would like chase us all over the building and then finally I'd end up on the roof and then letting them all out. Yeah, like, Just we all know there's only one way that's going and Mike Myers wasn't having me. Well. Whoops. Bye, girl. <laughs> that one or the one where I used, to, I used to be like a tiny little ant and everything else around us was like massive. Oh, no, I've done I've had them. Apparently that's there, linked that's to like me claustrophobia or something though. <laughs> What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think the word fidget? Me. Mm. I fidget all the time. What made up word would you incorporate into the English language if you could? We should be good at this one, we've got a few. Ooh, a made up word. Yeah. Snatch tacula. Snatch tacula, <laughs> yes. Mine would be oh, emetifically right. proven. Oh, emetifically. Because I use that all the time anyway and it works, so I might as well just whack it in there. Yeah. Uh, Is that like blonde testic features? Oh, I've got it wrong, never mind. Got it wrong. What did see as a kid when asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? A Power Ranger, we've had that question. Oh, I. Not today, but we have had it. Hmm. When is the last time you can remember feeling totally at peace? Every day when I get baked. <laughs> Pretty much <laughs> like. Which of the seven wonders of Speaking the world of. do you want to visit the most? I can't answer this one because I'm not even. I was going to say, I'm not even sure if I know what all seven are. Well, I don't know if I know what all seven are, but I, I definitely. I'd go know. that one in India. Is it in India? Is it the pyramids? And that other one, the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal looks beautiful. That one's in India. Uh, I was going to say, I'm not, so I didn't know which ones were. I just, you know. Uh, now the Great Wall of China for me, personally. Which foreign language would you like to learn? Oh, Mandarin Chinese. Spanish. Why? Why not? Sounds sexy as fuck. Well, that's true. Hola. Oh, so you would just like it for the sake of it sounds sexy. There's no actual... Oh, yeah, I, there's no other reason. <laughs> like, I'd actually like to go and visit China and things like that. That's why I like to learn Mandarin Chinese. When was the last time you really laughed out loud? Yesterday. Literally, right before we started recording this. Oh, yeah, actually. Too much of this. Yeah. When was the last time you vomited and why? Why the fuck would you ask a stranger this to start the conversation? Why? Why would did you, you guys? Because Well, it was probably something to do with alcohol. Probably, it's always alcohol. Related. I don't know when, but it was probably something to do with alcohol. Oh, no, with me, it wasn't last week when I was bad. Mm. Aye. Boring. Some bitch poisoned us. Not me. Not this time. No, no, not this bitch. Although she probably wouldn't have. I have, but not this time. What's the first movie that ever made you cry? Oh, what was it called? I think it was called Might Be Joe Young. No, it wasn't. I'm lying. Born to be Wild. I don't think I've seen her. It was about the uh, sign language gorilla. Yeah. Oh, and actually, I think on, the, the, the boy sets it free and they go on and they talk to each other. It's really sweet. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. It was out in the 90s. <coughs> 
It was cute. Hmm. Actually, that would be a word, cute. Yeah. From the dictionary word, I. Yeah. Like what song do you most associate with your childhood? I'm not the Power Rangers theme tune. Really? I'm not even sure what mine will be. Probably something from like the 80s, like Bon Jovi or something. Actually, if that's the case. I'm, I love like, it. I like something sure. from the 80s. I wasn't even born in the 80s. But I like, I don't know. I'm just thinking of stuff that my mum and dad would listen to. Bon Jovi was a regular in our house. He's Probably something to do with Cher then. And then they did the final countdown as well. The final. That one. Mm-hmm. Da -da 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 -da. Why not, man? Um, what major historical event took place the year you were born? I've got no idea. Me either. It'd be interesting to find out, though. Do you know what? We can, without losing my questions. No, we well, can. no, we'll just keep asking these. I'm um, not waffling for too long, they're not going to say What era would you choose to live in if you could? <gasps> oh, the 20s. The 50s for me. Or the, oh, the 70s. Get me there all um, in the... Actually, what do you mean? They were born then, or like actually, like a doesn't age say. Then. It just says, uh, "What era would you choose to live in if you could?" Oh well, either the twenties or the seventies. I'd probably be like a nineteen fifties, like seventy year old. Yeah. Or no, I'd nothing. say I'd want to do that, but in the seventies, because then I'd be like a flower child and all peace and love. That would be cool. You wouldn't get all the fit skirts and stuff then, though. No, because you had like bell bottoms and flares. And... Girl, I don't want to wear no yes. bell bottoms. <laughs> What's your opinion on fate? I believe in fate, I think. I believe that certain things are fated, but I also believe that you can differ from your own path depending on personal choice. Mm. If that makes sense. Like maybe you were supposed yeah. to meet somebody and be with them, but because of personal choice, you only just passed them by rather than actually stayed with them what's the most ridiculous thing you've ever done I took my friends like us on top of a police van when we were younger I've done too many things ridiculous you weren't just like us and all like bright red lazy tongues because she was going to say I do I stealing broken things from gardens when I'm drunk yeah have you ever woke up ashtrays. with a broken iron and board in your bed with you and you don't know how it got there because I did not cute if you could domesticate any animal in the world which would you pick something from the big cat family like a lion or something like that I'd probably have a pet hippo <laughs> I like hippos yes that would be genius I like a snow leopard well that would be in the big cat family that would be cool Come on, bitch, what mm. else you got? What really gets on your nerves? Me! <laughs> <laughs> All the fucking time. <laughs> Is there a personality trait you just can't stand? Pettiness. Peacockers. I like peacock that shit. Suck that. No peacockers Why? wanted, yeah. If you're a peacocker out there, then you're obviously hiding the fact that you've got a small vocabulary. Peacock. That peacock ain't wanted. So... Keep your peacock to yourself. What's the last meaningful, meaning, meaningful book you read? Bitch doesn't read. <laughs> She's Not books anyway. She reads people's. Oh, I don't I'm read meaningful books. I don't think anyways. I've read a lot of books, but I don't I think anything's ever been like meaningful. No, I read the Bible when I was a kid. Does that count? Years ago, I read the 21 Lessons of Merlin, which is about like yeah. witchcraft and stuff. Druidism. What's the last thing you did for yourself? I buy my shit all the time. <laughs> I was gonna say, I do everything for myself. Mostly, I. I don't cook my toes. My mum usually does that. 